you're welcome. It's Jenny from A Stamping Journey. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wollongong in New South Wales, Australia. So glad you could join me today while we create this half fold card. I'm using the Stippled Roses stamp set. It's just gorgeous. But you could try it with any of your other flower stamps you have at home or you might just have this one that you want to try it out with. So I'm going to go through some steps, share some tips in colouring the flowers and also putting the card together when you come to assemble it. So let's get started. What you'll need is some, uh, firstly your base card. It's just a standard card. I'm using Highland Heather. I'm using the gorgeous perennial lavender paper. Isn't it just so pretty? I think it's been coming one of my favorite papers for some time. It's so beautiful. I've used it a lot. You'll also need some white card. This is going to be for inside, of course. You could choose not to do it, but I think it's nice having the white showing through. And some white card for stamping your flowers and green for die cutting your leaves. These have such a detail in the leaf dies and then just a lovely addition so let's get started firstly we'll get our pieces for the stamping and the coloring now when you're you coloring with stamp and blends you will need to use memento black and we'll stamp that up i think because it's a large stamp it's much easier to leave the stamp on the desk and press over your memento with it. Give that a good coverage. There's so much detail in this stamp so it's good to get a good cover all over it and when you are happy with that press that down on your white card. You'll need thick card because you're coloring with the stamp and blends. So it's a little bit thicker to take the markers and give that. See, you can see that detail in the flower there. Just beautiful. Give that a good press all over the back so you can be sure that the ink has transferred. And then we're going to do the same with the little flower, the little rose. Give that a bit of an ink up too because it's a smaller stamp I can just put that directly onto the ink pad now I'm using the Island Heather because that works so well with the paper I'm using Granny Apple Green as well of course, grab a colour that coordinates with the paper that you're going to be using. Firstly, use your light one with the brush tip. I'm just going to go around and colouring in over the rose. Now, we'll go through a little bit. I'll share some tips and I will speed up parts of the colouring just so you don't see me watching colouring this all day. Just give that a colour. It doesn't matter if there's variations in the colouring. Grab all the other roses. There's some tiny little roses too. Don't forget those. Forget this tiny little one here. Now, when you've gone over the, with the light, grab your dart. So and this time I'm going to use the finer tip with the dark and just go in some of the details in those little shadow lines. The great thing with the Stampin' Up! images 
is you've already got a lot of the lines, a lot of the shadow there, which makes a huge difference. It makes it so much easier when it comes to coloring. So you can add, go over this area. You can always go back over it too. So don't feel you have to get every part of it first. And I'm using the glass mat, which is really great for coloring with the blends as it retains, the, the blends stay that little bit moister to help with the blends, with the blending of them rather. The only thing is when I'm doing a video, you get the reflection. So I've just added some paper underneath just to stop those reflections a bit. So I do apologize if you're still getting some. So it sort of changes that a little bit, but this glass mat is so great. It's scratch proof and heat proof and very stable. Great for the sticking down your um, with adhesives and with your other mediums. It's only available for a couple more weeks, which is incredible. Hasn't celebration gone so quickly? So if you want to grab one of those as an extra bonus when you come to join the Stamp Up family, make sure you get in very quickly. So I've just now gone back over parts of the flower. I'm going to go back over it again a little bit more. This time I'll grab the light again and just where I've done some of those dark, just blend those colors in with the light. And it's good to have a bit of variation with those colors. And when it dries, as it dries, you'll see the depth of color coming out. Hopefully you can see that. I'm certainly no expert at coloring. I dabble a little bit and I try hard to try and improve all the time that's all you can do but these are things some things I've found when I've been coloring so just continue to build up your color I'm going to go over just a little bit more with the dark again just in some other patches in other shadow lines You see that coming together now just blend those out a little bit more I won't spend too much more time on this but hopefully you get a bit of an idea and you can keep coloring keep blending so we're going to leave the Highland Heather now I'm just going to do some with the leaves so once again using the light and just color into it my light pen is just starting to die a little bit but hopefully it'll be enough to get through coloring this i'm going to use the finer tip for these parts as you do this you can start to see parts you've missed so I'll go back over that leaf petal and colour that. Get your dark and once again just go parts of these shadows just in these area. In the veins of the leaves. Now don't forget your little flower too. We'll just quickly do that. Similar idea, just using your light. Add those extra details with the dark, just in those shadow lines. And 
and then go back over and blend some of the colors. Continue to add more light, more dark as you go. And we use the green, the light granny apple green. Once again for the leaves. Now we've finished the colouring now, you can continue with that if you like. What we're going to do is die cut those out. We have the dies in the roses, so you can just run that through your die cut machine. So just line that up, we'll have those ones, and we'll have the smaller one. While you're at it, don't forget your detail ones. So we have these lovely detail dies the leaves just run that through your die cut machine as well so we'll just run and do that right we've got the leaves and the flowers so we can get rid of all the dyes now isn't it pretty now to our card we've got our we'll just put those aside for the moment what I want you to do, what you need to do now, you've got your base card, it's just a standard one. I won't give you all exact measurements for now. I'll be sending this out in next week's tutorial in my newsletter. So if you want to get the detailed instructions step by step so you can refer back to later, be sure to subscribe to my newsletter. You'll find the link for that in the description on YouTube or you can find it on my Facebook page. But let me just say, it is a standard card. What we're going to do is cut off half the card at the front. So grab your trimmer. And what we want to do is, we'll just, just turn your card upside down. You're going to cut off, put it at 5.3 centimeters or two and one eighth inch. So this will be the part you cut off. Put that aside for another project. So you have the front of your card with half of it cut off. It's quite simple really, but very effective. And then your strip is slightly smaller and that is 4.8 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters or two inches by five and three eighths. So we can start gluing and assembling the card. Run some adhesive on the back of your strip. And stick that down there. Let that dry. And then grab your flowers. Now, just a tip I wanted to tell you. When I was putting this together, I completely forgot about when you're coloring with on the white card, it goes through the back. Now, I didn't worry about it. It's okay, but if it's something that bothers you, just a tip is die cut another plain outline in the white, and then you can stick that to the back of your card. So just stick that together like that, and then it'll be a planer at the back. You won't see the markers. So we'll just add, oh, there you go, it just popped out. It is so hot here at the moment that I find the Tombow glue just literally runs out. All right, so it gives you a plain back. We'll do that with the smaller flower too. So position that down. I've done that on the wrong side. Let's just stick that on like that. That's not gonna matter. I'll just leave that facing up though so the glue will dry. Now on your card front, position your flowers. So we're going to have flowers there. We've got some leaves hanging out here. So it's a good idea to position them on the front of your card first. Add that here just to see how they fit and how they go. We'll add the other leaf down here. And then you'll have room for your other flower and dies. My hands are so sticky. So you can put that down 
on there. So you want to just see how that all sits together. So let's stick the leaves down behind there, behind your flowers. So grab a little bit of glue there. And you can have a look how you want that. Well, let's do it the other way, shall we? That's how we had it. So you're happy with it? Add some more glue down there. I did put that round down, down on the other side, so be careful of that because that's going to hang off the edge of the card. Right, so you're going to add some dimensionals to the back. You only want to stick it on this half of your roses so just run some dimensionals down here have a little one in the middle also the rows you can have a little bit there too So position that on your card so you don't want the leaves to overhang too much you can always slide them in a little bit more if you'd like to have them in add some tape if you're having a little trouble getting them in and we'll slide that one down but you can play with that we're going to just add half there just check that the dimensionals aren't showing too much if they are just give it a gentle lift up. It's a good idea to check that before you push that down firmly. So we're just going to move those in. Because we certainly don't want the dimensional showing. So add that to your front there. With those little leaves hanging over. And your rows. Then just add your rows down here at the bottom. Just check that's not showing. Now we're going to stamp a sentiment just with a little bit of white card. I'm using, this is the stippled rose if I haven't shown you already, the best birthday wishes. Ink that up in your memento. And what I found was a great size was the sending dies. Just grab those. This one is an older set, but it's still current. But these, there's two banners in this size. But the smaller one actually fits this perfectly. So you can just run that through your die cut machine. There we have. Now I'm going to add some dimensionals on this, but just keep it down this end so it doesn't show because that's going to overhang a little too. That will position nicely on here. Just have a play with the position of it when you're happy with it. So it's just going to overhang a little bit. Now, don't forget the inside. I like to stamp the inside too. So I'm using Old Olive. I'm going to ink up this little rose again. What I've done is using this little spray of leaves. This is actually from the Translucent Floral Stamp Set. So I just thought it went so well with it too. So we have ink up this rose and position up that top corner you can add another some words inside too which is nice as well I always check the stamps just to check there's no ink around the edge that's going to create the shadow line so just stamp that down in the bottom corner. 
Let's get rid of our ink. We don't want to put any sticky fingers in that. So we can now stick that down. Now, if you're watching on YouTube and you like this video and want to see more projects, be sure to subscribe so you can catch any later projects that I share and go back on my other videos that I have on there. If you're on Facebook watching, give it a like. That helps share it around with others. Share it with a friend. That would be great. We're just crushing our little leaves a little bit. We've bent that over. Just watch those. You might want to add a little dab of glue on the back of it and just, we might just do that just gently. Add a touch of glue and that can then stop it from overhanging on the card too. Have a look there. We'll just push that down there. So we can go and fix that up again later. Same with that one, because you want to just position those. I probably should have tucked that in a little bit more. That'll stop that overhanging on the edge. So there you have our half fold with the stipple roses. I hope you get to play along with it and create one yourself. It's very easy. Uh, just a little colouring and cutting your front of your card shorter. So thanks for stopping by and, and following along on this video and uh, have a great day. Make sure you do some stamping and creating for yourself today. Bye.